very good evening my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking as usual we have to check our weekly performance on the signals from the premium group and I believe it was really outstanding we are here showing on my Facebook the messages and the feedbacks we received from those who have joined the premium group recently and we can see they are really happy and they are making a lot of profits uh, even this guy he just sent me this message with the uh, trades uh, status obviously the message is clear he's making good profit and this uh, guy as well he's happy with the result he sent to Angela uh, this is a lady here actually she sent to Angela saying she's very happy and she can't believe what she can see on her account and she is working on the real account also and he, uh, it was amazing and she's very uh, grateful for the signals performance now we can see this guy also he said that he have made on Friday more than 400 pips of profit also despite missing three signals so imagine how many pips he have missed actually on that day and he said that it was the best score he ever had and also while he was sleeping so really the signals has done really well that week uh, the, the last week but it's also important to mention something here signals can never be very profitable every day of course there will be ups and downs for example last week on Monday we faced a few losses here and there and we were able to close the day with even uh, with a break even or with uh, some losses it's possible the losses will happen that you cannot judge the signal from one day you have to, ju to judge the signal at least from a week Keep using the signal for at least one week and then you can judge it because Monday and Tuesday we had really bad days uh, or not really bad I want to say it was between and between winning and losing but later on it was really very great especially on Friday it was full of green and a lot of pips has been made I think more than 500 pips of profit so actually it was really great performance and please my friends whoever want to join the premium group be prepared sometimes you will have some losses you cannot expect the signals to be in profit from day one of course there will be some bad days and b good days don't judge it from day one keep trading until you complete at least like one month to see what will gonna happen in your account always use a reasonable amount of money on your trades don't enter full account uh, full amount on your trades and be ready and be wise when you are using your money so again uh, thank you, Angela, for this outstanding performance, and I wish you and the clients the best of luck always. So let's go now to the weekly analysis, and let's show, as usual, the EURUSD. Let's try to analyze it now. What we can see here, that the EURUSD has made some abnormal movement here. You can see how the candles went down and again went up immediately. Actually, there was a reason for this movement. Uh, just give me one second, I will show it to you this was the reason right here we can see it on thursday september 12 we have some the high impact news uh, the core cpi on the euro usd uh, sorry on the usd and it was very positive for the dollar and that's why we can see here the euro usd has actually went down here let me just see how many pips it was i think 140 pips exactly almost yes exactly so the euro usd has went down for 140 pips and bounced again on the very same level of the support and went up again back to its uh, previous uh, position so actually I said last video that the euro USD will bounce on this support level and it will be good uh, idea to start buying the euro USD those who have entered this trade have actually made good money because the euro USD went up again from this point here to almost uh, 120 pips and that was really good profit now however uh, seeing this momentum here it's obvious now that the euro usd is gonna continue its b uh, bullish momentum i don't think the euro usd will break from this support at all at this moment so this is daily chart let me mo let me now move to the weekly chart let's see what we can figure out together so we are having here a previous support remember i'm on the weekly chart so we are seeing this previous support and here as well we can see the support has been broken out by this bearish candle and now the market is retesting this broken level so what is the behavior we can expect at this point now remember the bow uh, the euro usd is bouncing on this support look at that look at it let me just be more accurate look at this here so we are having here this support 
and here also it was a support as well and now the euro usd is bouncing on the support so selling the euro usd claiming that we have here a previous support and the market should continue to go down is not really smart it's obvious that the euro usd will continue its bullish momentum after bouncing on the support and i don't think it will stop until it hit this level of the resistance after hitting this resistance we can expect that the euro usd will move down so in general what i'm expecting for the euro usd is to go a little up here to hit this previous uh, resistance to make a second attempt of it retesting the level and then it will go down retesting this previous support and it will continue to go more up to hit this previous resistance so what is the signal that we can take from this actually on the four hour chart we can see that the euro usd is bouncing on this resistance right here right here so this level we have here a resistance and the euro usd is bouncing on it i think that the euro usd will go down a little bit more down to hit the previous support level here before it actually continue to go to shoot more up and we can keep our position until the euro usd hit this previous resistance right here so let's make it more accurate uh, euro usd should be good for uh, buy at exactly this level right here let me just be accurate as much as possible at 1.10357 i think the euro usd will go a little bit down for almost 37 pips then it should be good to buy the euro usd keep your position until it hit this previous resistance on 1.12173 uh, there is a possibility euro usd might go a little bit down actually to hit this previous support before it continue to shoot more up but in general i believe yes euro usd is heading uh, up to this resistance it's just a matter of where should we place our trade just to be safe place your trade your buy order at 1.10357 expect it to go down against your trade for almost 30 pips uh, let me just be more even more clear here expect it to go against you to level 1.09978 but hopefully after that your usd will continue flying more up so again uh, your usd is good for buy let's check now the pound usd if you remember i said two weeks ago that the pound usd is really going up from the support level and it will be good idea to start buying the the pound usd until it hit this previous support here and it has even exceeded the support level so now the pound usd is continue to go more up now what we can see here actually you know what i will do i will just apply some uh, trend lines uh, understanding here and i'm going just to use it to confirm uh, where is the euro usd head the pound usd heading uh just give me a second i'm just doing it live front of you so you can see how we are actually analyzing the trades and yes i believe it is the time for the pound usd to reverse a little bit on this previous support here exactly like that so we had here a support level and here as we remember i'm on the daily chart okay this is daily so this previous support level has become here a resistance so based on daily chart we can see that this is a resistance number one it was the first attempt before the market reverse and now it's going up to create the resistance number two so it is very sensitive we cannot decide yet our trade so now we know that the pound usd is on is on a resistance level let's go to the four hour chart i want to show you how we can analyze the trade step by step so we first analyze it on the daily chart to know the general direction then we go to the smaller time frame to decide where should we enter our trade with either buy or sell so we can see here that we had a previous support and here we have a resistance but however it is not a key resistance it's not really strong it seems like the pound usd might actually go a little bit more up here it will fly for a few pips like that i just want to be accurate as much as possible yes i believe here because here we can see that we had here a key resistance and here as well so this resistance is actually pretty strong uh, the pound usd is expected to go a few pips ahead 
for uh, maybe about 40 pips and should be good to start selling at 1.25372 but don't keep it uh, selling for a long time because again the bullish momentum is really strong it might actually bounce and remember because we are analyzing on daily candles and for our candles so the bounce might actually take some time here so in general I believe only up to here that pound USD will bounce on this resistance and will go down here to hit this previous support and perhaps it will even continue to go more down until this previous support right here so if you want to be safe let me just make it clear let's say this is your cell or uh, cell area here at 1.25372 and you can set here this is your take profit one at 1.24628 and set your take profit two at 1.23961 again I'm expecting for the pound USD to reverse and will continue to go down to this level here and there is a possibility for a reverse and the market will go up it's all about the price action it's up to the price action we have to wait and see what kind of candles will close at this level it might close as a uh, as a complete bearish breakout candle if it does then you can keep your trade going until it hits this previous support right here and you can close your trade with the profit if it's a close here as a pin bar for example like that then just exit your trade don't stay in it any longer but I believe in general you, uh, the pound USD is good for sell for short term for short, per, uh, short term for almost 75 pips and that's it so that will be even more safe and just wanted to say that because I think in general also uh, pound USD should be continue to go more up what I'm expecting again for the pound USD is to reverse hit this previous support level and will continue to shoot more up there is also a chance that it will continue flying more up now the pound is really unpredictable it's moving based on the Brexit the news especially after hearing the news that the Parliament will be suspended in the UK so what I'm saying here is technical analysis but you have to keep your eyes on the news when you are trading the pound so you will be safe so let's now move to the AUD USD now AUD USD is continuing its bullish momentum and I don't think it will reverse at this point because we cannot see on the left any previous support or resistance it's just continuing its bullish uh, momentum and I believe if we want to be more accurate we are having here a resistance level we can see this resistance right here this resistance has become here a support so this level is, is way stronger than the other levels because because we don't see any previous resistance on the left I believe the AUD USD will continue its bullish momentum it will go a little bit more up here before it actually reverse and should be good for sell right on this level 0 0.69295 that will be actually a good idea to start selling the AUD USD and you can keep your trade all the way until this level of uh, 0 0.68486 that should be about 70 80 pips of profit it should, should be good so yeah that is what I expect for the AUD USD but again this is daily candles it might take about two weeks for this to happen if it does just uh, or you know something no I think it will happen this week yes I think the AUD USD is gonna bounce on the support level right here like that yes I believe this is what will gonna happen it will fly up here and before that uh, it will make some strong bullish momentum and then finally it should start reversing going down to this previous support here so yeah that was my forecast for the AUD USD let's check now the USD CAD USD CAD I believe the USD CAD has moved exactly as what I said in the last video uh, I said if I'm not mistaken that the USD CAD will be or not to be honest I, I forgot I, I'm, I'm not sure anyway USD CAD is now heading up all the way to this previous resistance right here let me just mark it for you we can see that here we have a resistance 
uh, this is for our chart let's now move to the daily chart so we can see the support and resistance level in even more clear eyes so what we are seeing here is this bearish breakout candle so this is our key support uh, key level here we need to focus on this level let's look at the left what do we see here we see here a lot of resistance attempts happened and we can see here also we have the resistance and remember I'm on the daily chart so we had here a ranging market actually before the market finally breaking out from it so what is the right behavior actually in such scenarios it's better if we if we apply the trend lines the strategy so we can find out where is the expected reversal point is gonna occur on the AUD USD and from what I can see here it is actually immediate um, we can expect for the euro USD sorry did I say euro USD I mean USD cat sorry so USD cat as I mentioned exactly yes on this uh, previous resistance it was also a support and we can see here also it was a support and here as well it was respected the level as a support as well so it is a strong level here and uh, don't forget it was also a resistance and here as well you need to track the level just to be sure that your entry is accurate so actually I believe that USD CAD should be good for sell at this point to be honest uh, let me just be even more clear if I want to be so accurate about it like that so 1.32917 should be good to start selling the USD CAD and I don't think it will keep the sell order for a long time let's make it only up to this previous support here because here we can see that we had a support level and therefore we can expect the USD CAD to reverse for almost ah, 36 pips only yeah actually the USD CAD is a little bit tricky at the point here at this point because we can see it making very strong bear, uh, bullish momentum and I'm expecting it to reverse but also it's perhaps there is a possibility that we if we will see here for example a long wicks here at the resistance it will indicate that the market will continue to fall more down to this previous support right here before it actually start heading more up so the USD CAD right now I cannot decide what will gonna happen for it unless I see the price action happen on Monday uh, morning so just to be safe you can start selling USD CAD only up to this level for almost uh, 34 35 pips maybe yeah 35 pips at 1.32917 and keep your trade only until 1.32568 1 then after that we can decide based on the price action we cannot really expect much uh, from the USD CAD at the moment because this bearish, bullish momentum here is very strong but I believe that the USD CAD should actually reverse from this point at least to make this reversal up to this previous support and then we are gonna see what will gonna happen if it will reverse more to continue go more down or if it will actually reverse and head up now let's check the USD GPY so also the USD GPY is making a strong bullish momentum but there will be a correction it's definitely gonna happen the USD GPY is not gonna keep its position for a long time we can see that here we have a resistance and it's very clear it's crystal clear we can see exactly that the USD GPY has reversed on this resistance that is very easy now so after this reversal it's good idea to start selling the USD GPY immediately and keep your position only until this previous support which has been also this previous support which has been also a previous resistance so we can expect about 97 95 pips of profit and because we can see it right here we can uh, I, I think about 86 to 90 pips of profit should be gained from this trade I believe in general the, mo the movement for the USD GPY will be reversing going down to this previous support and then it will continue hitting more up until hitting this previous resistance but of course this is not going to happen until the next week so again USD GPY is good for sell actually immediately at the level 108.113 and keep your position until the level 107.242 let's check the USD CHF 
Now the USDCHF is still hanging on this resistance level. It's still ranging on the level here. We can see that we have a resistance here. It's we have so many attempts of this resistance, but we need to check the weekly chart to decide. So seeing this, it seems like let me just delete that. I don't like it red. I don't know why it's red. So we can see here that we had this resistance zone and it has been ranging for quite long time here. We are talking about many years uh, since actually uh, almost 2015. We can see the resistance here and the market is still ranging on this resistance. It's actually not able to break from this resistance. Not this one. I mean this one here. So the mark, the USDCHF is not able to break from this resistance and it seems like on the weekly chart also this resistance level seems strong and it doesn't seem to be breaking away from it. So what I'm ex ex uh, expecting, <coughs> sorry, after all these attempts, uh, the market should actually reverse and go down. I don't think it's going to go up. It maybe will go up a little bit only to hit this resistance again right on this level uh, let me just be more accurate right here yes exactly so at the level 0 0.99177 we can expect the USDCHF uh, it will go a little bit more up like that eventually it should reverse and go down all the way to head this previous support I think it should be easy because the USDCHF is facing really hard time on this resistance it doesn't seem to break out from it and therefore we can start selling the USDCHF it will be safest level to sell as 0 0.99177 keep your trade to be safe only until this level of 0 0.99067 that should be about 107 pips hopefully we are gonna make it and USDCHF should be easy to predict this week now let's check the gold I'm really happy for my previous gold analysis I'm very proud of it to be honest this is where I said that the uh, gold is gonna reverse on the four hour chart I told you that the euro USD uh, sorry uh, why I keep saying euro USD what's wrong with me uh, gold I, w I have said in the last video <coughs> that gold uh, might go a little bit down but it should actually reverse and go up all the way to the level 1518 please refer to the previous week video and see it by yourself so exactly exactly the the gold has reversed on 1518 and we can see the reversal happened here and it went down for almost i think 300 pips maybe yeah exactly almost 300 pips and that was really sweet profit very good analysis and it was very accurate right on the spot however enough talking about the past let's check now what will gonna happen so after this double top here we can see I think the gold is going to continue its bearish momentum and it's not going to go up above this uh, resistance now. So where is actually the safest, the safest place to enter with the sell order on the gold? Actually, if we want to apply simple hit and run here, we can see that we have here a bearish breakout candle and the market is right now on this support level. It's expected for the gold to go up here a few pips ahead. To the level 1501 uh, to hit this previous uh, resistance right here and you know what let me just uh, correct it I think it will even go lower than that yes yes that is even uh, yes that's more convenient I think yes it will go to the down uh, up to the level 1498 that should be good level to start selling the gold because here we can see the resistance levels and I believe the market will go up here that will be your good chance to start selling gold at the level 1498 and keep your position to be safe my friends only to the current level that the price is on which is for 1488 that should be about 117 pips of profit it's also expected for the gold to go a little bit more not little bit actually it will go way more down than this level uh, maybe up to this support until the support level here so if you want if you wish you can close your trade when you open the sell order here keep your trade going until it hit this previous support once it done 
uh, close the trade and open another one with the sell option and I believe most likely gold will continue to go more down until the level 1477 before it start bouncing and go up again so again go, uh, gold is good for sell at the level 1498 and keep your position only until 1488 with a possible uh, with a potential uh, profit at 1477 so that was my forecast for this week i really hope it will be accurate and very profitable for everyone i wish you guys the best of this week and again uh, i hope that was informative to you and i would like to thank you for watching